Massive landslides struck various hilly areas and it's left several people suspected to be trapped. But earlier we had mentioned that the death toll was 11. That death toll has now been updated. I must inform you, at least 24 people have died. The Kerala State Disaster Management Authority has said that fire force and NDRF teams have been deployed. Pratibha Raman is with us for an update on the breaking news information coming in. Pratibha, we've got an updated death toll from these landslides and now 24 people have died? Well, in fact, um, yes, 24 people have died. That's the official figure uh, that is uh, streaming in right now. Uh, five ministers have been deployed and all of them leading the rescue operation there along with the NDRF team as well as the Defence Corp of um, Karnur. All of them working in sync to ensure that uh, the stranded families are rescued. We're talking of 400 uh, families there who've been stranded mainly because of a bridge collapse. Uh, uh, IDR teams have been mulling uh, temporarily uh, uh, serving the purpose of reaching out to those isolated families there. In the meantime, two hurdles there. One is the weather condition because that is uh, proving to be an impediment to uh, using helicopters. And two is the power outage as well. So, uh, with, uh, But despite uh, these impediments, uh, the uh, rescue teams have been uh, pressed into service and trying to ensure that uh, the uh, rescue operations are conducted in the most efficient manner possible. Ministers, the chief minister, as well as other officials, they're leading the way possible to ensure that, that um, the uh, assessment of uh, the damage could also be ascertained in a short while from now. Right, while we wait to hear from officials on the ground, the Kerala Chief Minister Pinarayi Vijayan has also had a conversation with the Prime Minister regarding the current state of affairs. That's right. All of them have been working in sync. All of them have been talking to each other, uh, trying to see that uh, the rescue efforts would be conducted in the most efficient manner possible there. We are talking of hundreds who are feared dead. And we are talking of several who have been injured most of the injured who have been shifted to hospitals there. Right now, the death toll is standing at 24. And this is likely to increase is what we hear with respect to the NDR teams who have been pressed into service. Right. We're also hearing that the Kerala State Administration has requisitioned rescue columns from the 122 Infantry Battalion. Do we have any confirmation regarding that? What details can you disclose? Well, as of now, what we know for sure is that uh, the NDR as well as uh, this, uh, army, uh, the armed forces, uh, all of them have been uh, trying to work in sync to try and see how best these uh, services can be utilized to uh, reach across to the isolated families as well as the stranded families and rescue those who have been stranded because we are talking of three major landslides that have taken place in uh, different intervals of time right from 1 a.m. to around uh, 4 a.m. today. And uh, with all of this, how best these services can be utilized is also something that is being led by the five ministers there who have been deployed by uh, the Kerala chief minister. There I have now no confirmation on uh, uh, the other teams that have been pressed into service, but yes, NDRF as well as the armed forces who have been working in sync at this point in time. Right. Also, Pratibha, there's some chatter regarding Rahul Gandhi asking all his officials to make sure that there's all assistance given from their end in Bayanad. But considering his busy parliament schedule, do we have any idea whether he's heading to Bayanad? No information as such with respect to Mr. Rahul Gandhi. But yes, he has been in touch with uh, because that we are talking of. He has been directing some to try and see how best the services can be offered to ensure that uh, the assessment of the damage can be ascertained as soon as possible and also to ensure that the stranded families are taken to a place of uh, safety there as fast as possible. Right. As Pratibha Raman is reporting, rescue operations are currently underway to assist all those affected. It is reported that 24 bodies have been recovered so far and that toll as Pratibha is also reporting, that toll may rise. More than 400 people were stranded in the area. Sources say that nearby areas have been buried under mud and rubble, as you can see on the left side of your screens at the moment. But as I can inform you, massive landslides have struck various hilly areas in Wayanad, causing concerns that hundreds of people may be trapped. Pratibha is still with us. 
for a live update. Pratibha, as things stand at the moment, the NDRF has been deployed there. Which other teams are currently working as far as the rescue operations are concerned? Right, I'm told Pratibha is making her way to Wayanad. There will be patchy connection for her. But as my colleague Pratibha Raman has been reporting regarding the massive landslides in Kerala's Wayanad district, the death toll from 11 has risen to 24. And this toll is likely to rise further as hundreds remain trapped in these areas in Wayanad. The landslides were near a hilly area in Wayanad district. And they have struck various hilly areas, in fact, raising concerns that hundreds of people may be trapped. As we speak, rescue operations are currently underway to assist all those affected. And it is reported that 24 bodies have been recovered so far, and that toll may rise further.